scammers. That's right. There are people out there who want to steal the hard-earned dollars of drivers like you and me. And they go to some pretty great lengths to try and steal our money. In this video, I'm going to share with you two scams that I am well aware of. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you when I got scammed, did I lose a week's worth of commissions. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. All right. And today we're going to be talking about scams, scams that uh, people think up in their head as a way to rather than go out and earn their own money, they try and steal it from people like you and me. Drivers, we're out there working our tails off to make money for our families. And there are these scumbags, dirt bags who are trying to steal our money. So let's break it down. I'm going to share with you the two scams and then uh, give you some, give you some uh, key takeaways. All right, scam number one I call the mid-ride cancellation. This is a pretty garden variety scam and nothing to get too worked up about. The way it works is you got a long ride, you're driving, and all of a sudden you notice that the screen, your screen changes, right? And the ride's been canceled. So what the passenger has done is while they're talking to you and hoping you don't notice is they've canceled the ride uh, in the hopes that you're gonna continue to drive them and, uh, and drop them off, and then they're gonna pay nothing for the ride. So what do you do when this happens? Just say, oh, it looks like you accidentally canceled the ride. No problem, I'll just continue, uh, give me the address, and I'll get the address, and I'll put the address in, into Waze, and take them to where they wanna go. And then once they get out of the car, what you wanna do is contact Uber or Lyft, whoever it is, and explain exactly what happened. And they will make sure that you get paid and that that customer uh, gets charged all right so don't like say hey you're trying to rip me off because that's not going to get you do any good just drop them off and then you can make a, make your full commission on the ride just got to contact uber and lyft and let them know what happened scam number two will blow your mind so i was driving around in my first year of driving and i got and i was going to pick up a passenger and i got a call I, and it was from from uh, uber or uh, yes it was uber at the time and it was a 415 number. And uh, it was not the passenger though. It was uh, somebody that said they were with Uber support. And they said, hey, you know, uh, give me your name please. I wanna confirm I got the right driver. And I said, oh, my name's Jay. Great, Jay. Okay, um, I wanted to tell you that you're doing a great job and we wanna give you a special bonus, all right? So I need to confirm a few things with you. Um, so let's confirm your email address. Go ahead, give it to me. And I would say, oh, it's Jay, whatever it is. And then they would say, great, great, great. And then let me confirm that we want to make sure we got the right driver. Let me have your password. And boom, I did that as well. Now, with that information, somebody can get into your account pretty easily and uh, change your bank account and have the money uh, do, do an instant pay and have the money go into a new bank account. That's the scam. Now, as it worked out in my case, and this was about three years ago, um, uh, when there was a change in bank account, I got a, a text message that said, please confirm that you're changing the bank account. And the person on the phone said, I just needed to hit, hit accept uh, or type accept, I don't recall. And it was at that point that I said, this is bullshit, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and I realized I was getting scammed. So I got lucky because I kind of realized, wait, why would somebody be changing my bank account information it didn't make sense at that point. And that guy called me three times in a row waiting for me to pick up and I just ignored it and that went away. Uh, somebody can easily go onto the websites and, uh, and make the change. So here we're looking at Uber. And once you've got the email and, and password, uh, you can go uh, right, right in the upper right hand corner there and do the pull down menu. And then you see it can say edit debit card. And then the next screen, you can change all the information and boom, uh, there goes your money. And on the Lyft app, we can see again here, uh, you can hit edit, change the information, which I actually did this morning to test it out. And I did not get any kind of a, uh, you know, uh, verification uh, email or text. So somebody could have easily just changed my information and, and flushed money uh, into their account. So that's the scam. So lessons learned. 
Do not give out any of your information. Uber and Lyft will never, ever ask you to provide your email address, your phone number, or your password, all right? They will never ask you to uh, verify something um, on your, on your uh, phone. If you're talking to somebody and they're asking you for anything like that, just hang up. And in fact, get angry. That's what I said. I said, go boom yourself, <laughs> you freaking a-hole, <laughs> and, and hung up. Because it happened to me three times. And the second time, I knew what was happening. And the third time, I knew what was happening. So I was just like unloaded on them. Because think about it. It's just screwed. I mean, it's just really, you could, they could take a whole week's worth of your commissions. If you're somebody that doesn't cash out every day and you cash out at the end of the week, boom, they're going to cash out the day before the end of the week and, and your money's gone. Now you can contact Uber and Lyft and say what happened and they may or may not you know, make it right for you, um, but just avoid the whole thing. Never, ever, ever, never, never, ever, ever provide your email and certainly not your password and certainly not your phone number and not any kind of pin codes, nothing. So the key takeaways, keep your private information private. Don't believe it when someone calls and says they're with Uber support or they're with Lyft support because they're probably not. In, in 26,000 rides, I've never actually had Uber or Lyft give me a phone call. They don't really work that way. They always send emails. So uh, don't give any information. That's the key takeaway. And then you'll keep all your money and you won't get scammed. All right? Great. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel here at The Rideshare Guy, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, and that would be great because that'll allow more people to see this video and help more people to not get scammed. Y'all got to have a great day. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy saying be safe out there.